Hello, I'm Antonio, and if you're watching this, I assume that you've seen the National Youth Agency's excellent video competition, which aims to help more people understand the vital role of youth work by calling on youth workers across the country to make a short video about their work and the impact it has on young people's lives. You want to enter but haven't a clue how to film, upload or edit on your smartphone? Then fear not, I am here to help. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a great short video for this competition on your smartphone. Before you start filming, it's important to manage your expectations. Now, we're not expecting your video to look professional. I mean, you can't all be perfect like me. Oh, maybe I'm not so perfect after all. Now, obviously, the higher the quality of camera on your phone, the better the video will look. Now your best bet is to go for an iPhone or smartphone. Now I've gone for an iPhone 4S, which may not be the highest quality of camera, but it certainly gets the job done. A good way to get to groups with your smartphone is to actually use it. Start by interviewing people you know, like your friends or family. Believe me, you'd rather slip up there than in front of everyone and make a fool of yourself. Oh. Before you can even start to think about making your video, you've got to figure out what story you're going to tell. Are you going to talk about your current youth work project? Who's going to be involved? Where is it going to be filmed? Now if you've got a lot to say and you're worried you're going to forget, then you can use cue cards like me. Don't worry about a full script, because talking naturally can be much more engaging. But remember to keep your videos short, a maximum of three minutes long, as shorter videos can be more powerful. So you've got your smartphone and your story and everything else in between. So you're ready to start making your film, right? Wrong. You'll need permission before you start shooting from your manager or whoever's in charge to film on location. Secondly, you're going to need permission and a consent form for anyone who appears in your video. This just clarifies the fact that they are completely happy with you filming them and the NYA using the footage. Now, don't worry if you don't know where to get these forms. You don't have to create them yourselves. You can just go onto the MYA website and download everything you need. Another factor that you may need to be wary of is lighting, especially if you're shooting with any natural light. To avoid this, try to film in a shaded area where natural light isn't causing any overexposure. If you're filming indoors, try to avoid using the flash on your camera phone and use lamps, blinds and even torches instead. By now, your short video should be coming along nicely. I'm sorry, what was that? Can't hear a word. Ah, that's right. I haven't shown you sound. Sound is a crucial part in creating your video, as the internal mic on your mobiles creates really poor sound, especially outdoors. As you can hear, the internal mic is picking up everything, especially the wind. It can be just as bad indoors. When filming, try and have someone listen out for unnecessary noises. You can start by turning off that fridge. While shooting, you must always be thinking about how these clips are going to flow together. Simple edits like this are effective and can be done on all editing programs such as Final Cut Pro. Now don't stress if you don't have that, you can create a YouTube account for free, upload all the footage and go onto edit mode where you can immediately upload your video onto the web. Now you've made your short video for the NYA's Transforming Lives Youth Work Stories competition, it's time to upload it. You must upload the final version of your film to YouTube on an open link. Don't set it to private guys, the whole point of this is for others to see it so we can raise awareness of youth work going on across the country and the vital role it plays in transforming young people's lives. Once uploaded, send the link to Transforming Lives at NYA .org.uk. There will be a prize for the best three entries, so look out for details of these on the campaign's Facebook page and the NYA's website here. You can also see other people's videos on the NYA's YouTube channel. 
If you have any questions about the competition, please email us at transforminglives at nya.org.uk. Well, I'm sure you're all keen to get out there and make your video. We can't wait to see what you come up with. Don't worry if you don't win. The fact that you're telling us about the youth work you do and how it transforms lives is the most important thing. This competition is not about fancy, expensive camera work. It's about the way you tell your story. So remember to make it fun and compelling. So from the NYA team and me, good luck.